see, there were just a lot of ridiculous numbers you guys are putting up overall, but especially that Vegas game and you look at your assist rate, 34 on 37 makes. Well, how can you just describe the way this offense is? We've talked about the chemistry throughout this season, but what is it like on the floor when you're just cooking like that? It's so fun. Um, I think it's really hard for teams to guard us because everyone's a threat. You can take away one person, but there's four more behind them. And plus our bench is so deep as well. So you got subs coming in doing the exact same thing. So I think it's really hard for teams to do that. And when we're scoring like that across the board, I think we're just impossible to beat. If you had to pick like just one or two things that have allowed you guys to play so well up to this point, what would those two things be? I think definitely our defensive uh, pressure. You know, there's things we want to clean up like points in the paint but our ball pressure are helping um, like the energy that we come with it's so frantic like when Ollie comes on she's automatically three steals like as soon as she comes on so just that attention um, that aggressiveness and that energy on defense what does it mean to you to know that you'll be playing in the Commissioner's Cup final in New York in, in the, on the 25th it's really exciting um, I think it just shows where we're at as a team we've been playing so well and it's been like a really fun experience um, I think they said we're number one in the West right now, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think it just shows the potential of this team. Well, you know, I mean, the fact that it's in New York is kind of cool because I think it'll get more attention there. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, what does it mean as far as this team? I mean, this is the best team in the West, and it seems like there's just not a lot written about it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's nothing we can do to control that. We just have to keep winning and play our game. Um, stuff will come after. When you think about kind of the excitement of the Commissioner's Cup, um, is there like an extra motivation to, I don't know, just be even more dominant out on the court? It's just because you're like, hey, yeah. there's a little extra money incentive on the line too? Yeah, I think there's like 30,000 <laughs> incentives, so <laughs> we're definitely trying to win. We have you worked with Land because not that she's been up and down, but sometimes like her scoring has been different, but except for the last couple of games, really like finding that, but also feeling through how teams are playing her. Like how have you worked alongside her since she's new here and, and facing different defenses and even the same team? Yeah, um, Land's really good. I think she's a fast learner um, and she's playing so well this year. Teams have to give her a lot of attention. Um, so just, you know, I think making different reads, we're all working on that. Like when people double or if they're helping down the post, finding those guards, finding the cutters, cutting for Land when she's in that position, um, just kind of helping her through that. But she's been doing a great job. To add on to that theme, she's been so good at assisting. Mm -hmm. um, she had seven assists in the last game. Do you feel like that kind of changes you on the court and your teammates knowing that there's a 6'4 you know, player who can dish the ball in that way? Yeah, for sure. Um, I, it like rewards you for cutting and for doing all those things. You know that land's going to find you. Um, so she's been great with that, just like knowing when to go and score and get her points and knowing when we need to pass it out. And that's something that Coach has been working with with all of us, um, making those reads. And it's as you can see, it's really helped our offense, so it's been good. You know, um, Coach loves to find things to motivate and to mention you, and she, she's aware of everything. It's in, in fact, I think before the LA game, uh, the Las Vegas game the other night, she made fun of one of the reporters there for picking her, picking you guys ninth, you know, in the preseason. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much, I mean, do you guys look for that kind of motivation? Is that motivating? And um, if you guys go to like New York and win the Commissioner's Cup, are you going to no longer have that chip on your shoulder? It is motivating. And no, I don't think that chip will be gone because it's the Commissioner's Cup. It's amazing to win extra money, but our goal is much bigger than that. Um, so it's going to continue on with the rest of the season. I think you've mentioned that a few times too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what are your feelings on being selected to play in the Olympics again for the second time? Really honored. I'm super excited um, to have really the full Olympic experience this time. With COVID, it was so locked down, I couldn't do anything. So aside from playing the games, which obviously I'm so excited for, any time that you represent your country, it's an honor. i um, really excited my family's going to be there and to hopefully see some other sports too. I was wondering if they're going to be able to join you. That's awesome. They are, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure you talked about this too, but just with the kind of the condensed schedule too, like having a day off yesterday and a couple this week coming off through that Vegas game. I mean, what is it like for you to balance going through that uh, along with Cheryl too? Uh, the back-to-back -back games? Yeah, well, just having a, like working through that rest and trying to make sure oh, like yeah. when it is so condensed, but also thinking about the Olympics too and, yeah. and how you kind of measure that with, with your body. 
Yeah, it's hard. I mean, we don't have a lot of practices. Um, it's like game day off, game day off. We got in the gym yesterday. It wasn't a practice, but we got like skill, skill work and lifting in. Um, so shoot arounds are really our practices. So we really try to be mindful of that and be super locked in to get done what we need to um, and take advantage and uh, not take advantage of the fact that we don't have practice, you know, to not make her regret that and make us start practicing. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Thank you. Thanks so much.